This is day two, step two of what to do with four gallons of strawberries. Look at this, it's so fresh. Oh my god, it's still amazing. Okay, we're making strawberry jam. I was ordered to properly read and follow the instructions. I am not impressed with how much sugar you have to use. A cup and a half of sugar into a bowl. Measure a cup and a half of sugar. Do you need to use so much sugar when making jam? Okay, I found this on the web. Why all the sugar? Here's an answer. Oh, and by the way, I'm wearing a red shirt, obviously, because the stains will not show up. If you're gonna do this, you wanna wear a shirt that is either dark or you don't care about. I'm wearing a red shirt that I don't care about because of this hole over here. Hmm. Blah, 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 blah. The function of the fruit is... Sugar also helps development of flavor and texture. For me, a favorite way to enjoy this is with homemade strawberry jam and development. Okay, whatever. So I'm not gonna take a chance. I might go a little easy on the sugar, but... Clean it with this. Okay, sugar. Measuring cup. Okay, sorry. Measuring cup. We need a cup and a half. Right here, okay. Seems like a lot of sugar. What do you have to say for yourself? You are a beautiful dog. Crushed fruit, add four cups of crushed fruit. Can't do it. Can't do it. We're doing a cup. We're doing a cup and a third. We're doing less than a cup and a third. That's enough sugar. Pectin, the necessary ingredient to make jam. Two points. Oh, okay. Let me see again. Four cups. Crush of add four cups. So that'll be two of these. Okay, this is going to be the tedious, dirty part. Let us decap the strawberries. I'm gonna go a little overboard on the fruit and a little underboard on the sugar. See if we can't make remotely healthier jam. I think we can. And then the second thing we're gonna do with this actually afterwards, my wife is already making some dehydrated strawberries. I'll show you what she's doing here actually. Ah. The beauty of wearing a red shirt to make jam. Nothing. My wife is already making dehydrated strawberries. Smells delicious. I'm gonna try to make dehydrated strawberries with the stems intact to see if it's gonna like make it easier to eat when they're dehydrated, but it might be a total flop, we'll see. Oh yeah. Oh, I didn't crush them yet. <sighs> Two pieces of instruction and I screw it up. I've gotta crush them before I put them in. Some people purchase a fancy strawberry crushing tool to crush the strawberries. I go au naturel. <laughs> the claw. Yes. Yes. Crush the strawberries. It doesn't seem like there's enough strawberry in there. Oh, I really should have washed my hands this morning. Yeah, just joking. Oh yeah. What do you say, Pudge? Stir for three minutes. I'm gonna have to use the timer on the camera to measure three minutes. Back to the fork. This is good exercise. Oh, two more minutes. I don't know if I actually crushed them too much with my power grip because I sort of like a chunkier jam and I think I may have uh, pulverized them into a fine liquid with the power of the claw. They said we have to wash the jars before we use them so I'm gonna do that and not record it because they're boring and then there's washing jars more. I'm just gonna let you stare at the jam for a few minutes. That's below jar washing boring. Yeah, I should probably work on doing that a little better, but that's one. My first jar of homemade jam. Oh gosh, okay, I'm putting the camera down. Man, that is good. 
Who would have thought that sweet fruits and sugar would be good? Jam. All right, last but not least, here are the strawberries with the stems. Whole strawberries without the stems, more whole strawberries without the stems. Four jars of jam. Okay, let's stack this on this, this on this. This should take 48 to 72 hours, I think. So, see you soon. Oh yeah. Oh, hi -oh. Daddy! Yes? Me! You wanna taste? Yeah. Strawberry jam. No. Just taste, taste. Here. No! No! Whoa! <laughs> Lala, taste. Just a bit. Well, I, I, it's in focus at this distance. Oh, give me a break. Ethan, is that good? Thumbs up? I've made my own jam and the kids like it. At least one of the two. You want? Lila does not like it. You want more? Recipe idea number one. Strawberry jam in vanilla yogurt. Mikey eats it. Mikey looks like he likes it. He likes it. Mikey likes it. Anybody who gets this joke is over 40 years old. Potager Mont Rouge Alte Gourmande. Thank you for the strawberries. And now my toughest critic yet. My wife. Never. My wildest dreams. <laughs> Did I think I could come home to you making strawberry jam? Just that makes two of us. <laughs> That's twice you left the brother. These are the dehydrated whole strawberries right here. More dehydrated whole strawberries, and on the bottom are the strawberries with the caps. Okay, so the ones, the ones with the stems. It's like they're terrible. Look, they almost dissolve. They're not bad. But these ones are much no better. stems. And you know what? Fresh strawberries are better. As long as they're still chewy, they're good. Yeah. They're. Let me see what I got. Ew! Do this one. Oh my god! You know what? That's funny. Do this one. My hands are really dirty because I was. This one's disgusting and mushy. Okay. Yeah, hey, you know what? Uh, they're all pretty good. So um, so stems, good. stems have to come off. Bad idea. So much better. Okay, we're gonna go plant. So much better than others. Let's see this here. Oh yeah, we're planting a strawberry plant. All right, and when they're not too dehydrated, still a little chewy, very good. So far, the best thing I made is a jam. This whole experiment has been phenomenal. All right, that is officially it. We're done. Booyah. <laughs>